This makeup attracts attention as smoky eye makeup using feather decoration similar to the eyes of a black swan. Let me help you put it on. So long lasting foundation. Setting mist, drying it a little. Muka wine, black and red color. Gray Sheep Purple Lip Liner Happy Halloween Loves! In this time, I prepared makeup to enjoy Halloween 100% of our Black Swan makeup. First of all, I will show you a makeup reference. You can feel strong charisma, right? This makeup attracts attention, so it's perfect for Halloween. There are three focal points of this. First, a dark and pale skin. Second, a smoky eye makeup using feather decorations. And the last is ruby lips. Wouldn't it be fun to just look at the pictures? Yeah. Imagine yourself. Wearing this makeup on Halloween. I'm sure that everyone can take their eyes off your beauty. Then, let's get started with Halloween makeup. I will fix your side here. With a hairpin. I will apply a lip balm first.
it's better to trim your eyebrows a little bit. shave these fine hairs I will put color lenses on your eyes. Please open your eyes wide and look the front plate. Thank you. Blink slowly. Let's wheel it to the other side too. Slowly. Oh, 
do you feel a little irritated in the eyes? Then I will put eye drops in your eyes. Do you feel alright? Oh, that's a relief. Please let me know if your eyes are uncomfortable again. Um, before uh, base makeup. I'm going to make your skin moist. I will use a moisturizing pads and cream. I will gently wipe your face with this. Very gently and softly. refreshing, right? I will pat down the remaining essence with my hand to absorb it into the skin. I will move on to the cream. Um, I'm going to apply it with flat foundation brush. This way, I can apply it widely with a small amount. Dab it with my hand to absorb it.
Now it's time to apply a foundation. Yeah. This is a long lasting foundation, so it'll help you enjoy Halloween as much as you want without retouching. I will be using this spatula to spread the foundation onto your face. I will blend it out with a water puff. I will reapply the foundation on the areas. And needs more cover. Hmm. It adheres to the skin so well. I will put it on the other side too. Next up is the concealer. Let the product be absorbed by the brush evenly.
I will use a powder to control the excess oils. Applying it evenly on the puff. I will dab it all over your face. I will get off the excess on your eyelids and eyebrows. I will be using a setting mist to get your face a little damp. Your skin looks perfect. <gasps> Eyebrow shape acts an important role in deciding a person's image. Especially, this makeup has to give a strong impression. So, I'm going to draw it in an angled shape that emphasizes the top of eyebrows. Shape your eyebrows with a black eyebrow pencil. each eyebrow hair with a liquid brush pan filling in the brows thinly and Naturally. 
will be adding depth to your face with contour to create dark and pale skin. I will use this grayish purple color. I will use it as a blush too. Okay. I will curl your lashes before I make up. Time to get started on the eye makeup. I'm going to use these four shades in order. It's mocha, wine, black, and red color. I will apply the mocha color widely to the eyelids and on the line.
I prepared two colors for eyeliner. One is red and the other is black. I'm going to use the black pencil for your wings. the red color to the front of the eyes and the bottom waterline. I will use four slashes.
I'm going to stick your lashes and first lashes with a mascara. And I record the lashes together one last time. Your lashes and fake lashes stuck well together. I will apply it to your lower lashes too. Finale of today's look. I will stick a feather decoration to the end of your height.
Next up, I will use highlighter. Um, I will apply it on the back of my hand. It feels like this. Lastly, we only have the lips left. Uh, I'm going to use a grey sheet purple lip liner to overline your lips. to use this muted color as a lip base And I will apply a deep red color lip tint on top of this. Taking the eyeliner pencil that I used before, uh, I will add shade on the corners of your lips.
is done. <laughs> I have filmed a lot of videos so far. It's the first time trying smoky makeup like this. So, I think this video will be a special experience for me. How was today's video? I hope you liked it and have a good night. Have you ever loves? It's me, Arin. Are you satisfied with the black swan makeup? In this video, I will do a cleansing and skincare for you with my night routine. My night routine is really simple. I only use four products here to finish cleansing and skincare. Yeah. Uh, I have been using them for more than two years. My skin is sensitive, so I don't use various kinds of cosmetics. Yeah. All of them are hypoallergenic products without allergy causing ingredients. So, it's good for people with acne or atopy, pregnant women, and children. Then, shall we start with a cleansing? Yeah. I use these two cleansing products. One is cleansing water, and the other is a whip cleanser. Uh, this is Bioderma Sensibio H2O Micellar Water. Uh, cleansing oils and cleansing milk products are easy to cause skin problems because they do not wash away easily when they enter pores. To cleanse them properly, you need to use a facial brush and scrub that irritates your skin. Yeah. So, uh, this cleansing water is better for acne or sensitive skin. You may think that the cleansing water doesn't remove makeup wear, but if you use it properly, you can remove most makeup wear. Mm. Uh, I use it in a foaming pump. Mm. It doesn't irritate your skin because uh, it removes makeup with foam, not cotton pad. 